Ed Sheeran teams up with Prince Harry on new music project. After revealing he wants to sing at the royal's wedding to Meghan Markle, he previously revealed that he wants to sing at Prince Harry's wedding to Meghan Markle. And Ed Sheeran has certainly made some headway getting into the newly engaged royal's good books, as he is now helping Harry raise money for charity. The Grammy-winning artist, 26, recently signed Jamie Loss into his label Gingerbread Man Records, who on Wednesday released a charity single for Walking with the Wounded, an organization that Prince Harry is patron of. The song, Footprints in the Snow, is aiming to raise a quarter of a million pounds for the charity's Walking Home for Christmas campaign, which will help change the lives of more than 400 former servicemen and women. Walking with the Wounded is a charity close to former troop leader Harry's heart as he is its expedition patron and has taken part in several expeditions and challenges for the cause, including trekking to the North Pole. Helping to raise money for one of the prince's favorite charities may help Ed in his mission to sing at Harry and Meghan's upcoming wedding, a goal he revealed when he received an MBE this month. The Lego house hitmaker accidentally breached royal protocol during the ceremony at Buckingham Palace, however, as he touched Prince Charles's arm while receiving the MBE. Meanwhile, Ed is only said to have met Prince Harry once, but the pair are often mistaken for each other owing to their look-alike features. Harry himself doesn't appear to subscribe to that belief however, as he was reportedly left in stitches back in March, when a high school girl insisted they were dead ringers. Are you the real Prince Harry? The girl quipped, according to Hello Magazine after rattling off several jokes about their alleged doppelganger status. Still in stitches at the schoolgirl's energetic questioning, he reportedly replied, Yes, the other one is Ed Sheeran, and also has connections with another member of the royal family, as he reportedly had his face sliced by Princess Beatrice at a party last November as she mock-knighted James Blunt with a sword.